Hello everybody, this is Lightstarnexus. Welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of the Skyward Sword. In the last episode, we returned here to Skyloft and, um, got a few things done. We, um, got our Iron Shield. We picked up all the Goddess Treasure Chests around, um, the sky. And we also, um, finished up our first Gratitude Crystal side quest. And if you notice, over yonder, over here, um, you may see a few annotations, or maybe not, depending on whether or not I pick anything. I actually pick anything up in that episode. Huh? I wonder where she's gone. And um, those annotations will be links to any pieces of heart or goddess cubes I find, as well as when I'm in a dungeon, the boss of that dungeon if I get to that. But yeah, just a little thing there to help you out in case you really don't want to use um. In case you really just don't want to watch this, you just want to go straight to, like, the piece of heart or the, um, goddess cubes. But yeah, we're going to go talk to this guy. In the last two episodes, I did, er, pfft. And, uh, well, actually, no, there is no voice acting I can do in dot .hack, so I really don't see what I've done wrong. Anyway, uh, I'm so worried, so worried. What's wrong? Ah, oh, Nexus, you really want to hear all about my troubles? That's kind of you. Well, actually, no, I just want to get the item that we get from the side quest. She was a short while ago, my little sister went out for a quick flight, but she hasn't come back home yet. It's, it was getting late for her to still be out, so I went looking for her everywhere, but I couldn't find her. I just hope nothing's happened. I'm worried, sick thinking about it. Oh. Hey, Nexus, would you mind helping me look for her? She said she was curious about a colorful island appeared re that appeared recently, so I expect she's out flying somewhere southwest of here. I'm counting on you. Alright. Do I have an extra? Okay, good. I have an extra slot. Anyway. So, where we want to go, I believe. Is over here. We definitely want to hit this. You see that little flat island right there? This one right here? This is the one we need to drop off on. Let's take a look below us. Make sure we're ready. And... Jump. Ow. I always do that. Whatever. Well, if it isn't Nexus, I'm glad to see you're here. My bird got injured while I was out for a quick flight, and now I can't fly. I somehow managed to make a crash landing here, but now I can't get home. Um... Alright, so we need bird medicine. Of course I will find bird medicine for you, because you are very pretty. And why am I talking about this again? I've already gone over... Or not I have, um... Never mind. Just, just shut up! Stop talking! I already went over this with a friend of mine. I have a very slight problem with having a slight attraction to, um, female video game characters. And by slight, I mean it happens at least once in every game I play. Shut up. Don't, don't even start with me. Anyway, drop down back here. And yes, that actually does open automatically, despite what some people think. Yes, I found your sister. Her bird is hurt, and she needs mushroom spores. And he gives us a bot. He gives us some mushroom spores. But more importantly, we got a bottle. Okay, that time I actually purposely ripped that off of NCS. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Tim. But um, it was right there. I had to say it. Anyway, this, I think that's actually the first time I've called him NCS, never Tim. I highly doubt anyone know, anyone subscribed to me knows who the hell I'm talking about when I say Tim, but whatever. Not that he actually watched my videos. I mean, he if he actually ever sees any episode of this Let's Play, I will be amazed. Why does it seem... It seems like we go faster when we're not holding Z. Oh, God! <laughs> well, that was stupid. All right, let's just jump off, and there we go. And if you don't activate your sail cloth from this height, you will actually get hurt. 
Let's talk to her again and give her the mushroom spores. And I just realized I don't have my checklist with me. Um, let me go grab that while we, while you sit through this. All right, there we go. And we get five more gratitude crystals for helping out. Um, I don't even know this person's name. That's just great. So we now have a total of ten. Now if we head back, actually let's hit this uh, booster rock, I don't know if that's actually what it's called, but that's what I'm going to call it. Anyway, let's head, let's head all the way back to Skyloft because we actually want to, um, oh god, it's actually go back and talk to the brother, he will actually give us something. And that was nowhere near close to the edge. Or close enough to the edge. Anyway. If we go back and talk to him. We get five more gratitude crystals. And sorry, I'm not, um, talking very much. I need, I'm just looking at the, um, I'm looking at my checklist while I'm doing this, because I need to make sure I don't miss anything. But anyway, um, I know we can go get another piece of heart from, um, Batero, but I'm going to save that for, um, a later time. Because, um, it's only one piece of heart, so it really won't make a difference. Yeah, let's just fly right under here. And you can actually see the area where our bird was trapped. Ow, that wasn't what I was supposed to do, but oh well. We're just gonna hit this uh, booster rock. It sounds like Octa Rock. Wow. Um, not intentional, but okay. And just aim all the way down. Oh, wow, too far. Whoops. And I keep forgetting I don't really need to look at this checklist because all the pieces of heart are usually in order in this game, so. Anyway, this is Elden Volcano. Approximately 95% of this region has been covered by lava. Wood and fabric. Well, we tent we are actually wearing fabric, so that's not exactly something good. But we did get rid of our wooden shield. And yes, if we do catch ourselves on fire, as Fi Fee, damn it, as Fee just told us, we can um put ourselves out with a spin attack or a roll. All right, so now. Always be sure to examine the bird statue, otherwise you will not be able to drop down from them. That's goddamn. That's something that I noticed Tim doesn't actually do very often. He doesn't check them, which I'm not sure if he. Um, I'm. Whatever. There's a goddess cube. I completely lost track of what I was saying. Um. I wonder if Tim's going to realize that. Um. At at any point. I hope he does, because I really don't want to see him not realize why he can't teleport. Anyway, here's a new group of enemies. Or, not enemies. Wow! <laughs> hey, hey, hey! You mess with our turf, and, and you're gonna pay? Whoa, you're not... Yo, Lead, I don't think this is one of those red creeps. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, I think you're right. No reason to scare the hair off us, though. Sorry about that, pal. These monsters have been showing up and messing with our turf. Has got me on edge. They show up here, and I'm gonna knock them, knock the red clean out of them. That's what we're doing here. Yeah, me and lead. Or, yeah, me lead. Yeah, whatever, Mr. Too Scared to Dig in the Dark. I honestly can't read for crap. Anyway, come around here. There's a few more of these things. Why do I keep getting attacked by them? I keep letting them get me. Is there anything down there? There's a small platform that has nothing down here on it. Oh! Red Ruby. I never realized this area was down here. That's kind of neat. That is nifty. Goddamn phone! Oh, wow. Ran right into it. I was trying to, um, be ninja. And, um, totally, just totally... Oh, God. And just totally not get it by the... Oh, I need that. Whatever he just dropped. And just like in Twilight Princess, whenever you save the game and shut it off, the collectibles have to do that. No, don't fall in the lava! No! <laughs> ah, you know screw you! Get out of here, you stupid keys. Keys, wow. Anyway, here are bomb flowers. Now, the bomb flowers, you can either hold them above your head and throw them as such. And throwing it at that one opens up a new path for us. You can also pick them up and hold them down and roll them like a bowling ball. And by tilting the Wii Remote, you can actually curve them like you can in bowling. Well, that wasn't a very good example, but let me try it this way. Oh, and this guy. I love doing this. Wait. Come on. Yup. He ate it. Ha. I love doing that to them. And anyway, in this hole that we blew up, there's a blue ruby. We have two arts missing. Let us fix that. Wait. There's no stool in here. I thought there was a stool in there. Oh, there's one in there. Anyway, let's pick this up and throw it up there. And what is up here? Nothing but a blue rupee. Well, okay. If you continue going down here... Oh god, more bats. There's another bird statue you want to examine. Um, here's our second goddess cube in this area. So there's now two. I believe there's two more. Yeah, there's two more in this area. Right there is a piece of heart. We will get that very shortly. Now this guy's an asshole. This little lava seal that sounds like a monkey. What you gotta do is throw the bomb right at the hole. And it'll still hit him. And he dropped nothing but a green ruby. That kind of sucks. No oh well. Up here we'll find... Moblin. I'm gonna go slowly at them. They always change right as you swing. That's what that's what's really annoying. Anyway, um up down here. Oh god, no. Get back up. Now right here we gotta play a little bit of basketball. Hell yeah. And that is so mean. I like Oh god, throw it. 
I miss. How do I? How did I manage to do that? There we go. And for this one, when you walk on these, oh god! Well, I was going. I wasn't exactly trying to burn my ass, but yeah, there's an example of um. Well, that. What you want to do here is you need to roll the bomb across. And that failed miserably. You need to roll it across straight. And that'll blow up that crack in the wall and drain the rest of the lava out of that area. Giving us access to the central platform. Before we go up and do that, there's actually an Elden Roller here. I might as well catch a few bugs once when I find them, because even though I don't really care about enchanting potions, I... Well, never mind. I guess he just wants to kill himself. I don't think there's anything too important up here. Yeah, there's really nothing worthwhile up here. But if you go over in this direction... We can actually, as I was saying, you can come over in this direction. We've got a stool in here. That's really all there is there. All right, this guy we've got to play basketball with. Oh right, well, that's not even an enemy. And this one we got to play bowling with. Wait. I missed. All right. Hello. Thank you. I see a blue rupee. I want that. But not before I get this piece of heart. That is our fifth piece of heart in the game. And we will use this beetle to grab that blue rupee just because I'm a greedy little bastard who wants every rupee he can grab. Oh wow, we can actually go inside of here. Anyway, now that we've got that. Ow. Whoa! Um. Okay. And make sure when you jump off this, you are running. Oh god. And try and land on this over here. In this treasure chest, you will get Elden Ore, a new material that will allow us to upgrade our shield once we get more of it. Now, there's something there. We can't do anything about those. We want to try and get to that goddess chest, but I don't think we're going to be able to. Oh god, don't do that. Alright, let's aim it up. And, oh, hello. Oh, no! No! Oh, I missed. Fuck. Is there a quick way I can get back up? Probably not. What's in this direction? I think this takes us up. No, that's just... Wait. Does that? Yeah, that takes us exactly where I want to go. Alright, so let's try that again, but this time let's not fail at it. Now also be careful you don't actually land on top of the Goddess Cube, which you can do, but you actually just slide right off. Just charge up. And that is the third goddess cube in this area. And there's actually one more we can grab in this area. That you actually aren't supposed to. I it says in the guide it says in the strategy guide you shouldn't um you shouldn't be able to get this one, but you actually can. What, cobblins? I can do that for you. Oh, 
Oh, that was a bad idea. I'm not even locked on to anything. Now, as long as this one up here is still alive, it will continue to spawn. You are getting on my nerves. Alright, hold on. Problem solved! Take that, you son of a bitch. Come here. Oh, wow. There. That's right, I did. Know what you got for me, bitch. You better give me something good, because I just risked my life for you. I'm looking for a way forward. Now, either one he, not either one you pick, um, he will still give you the digging mix. Now, the reason he said, now the reason he gives them to you if you choose rupees is because those digging spots there, you can actually dig rupees up from them. Now, we chose a way forward, which is exactly what he gave us. We, click, we dig here, and it gives us a way forward. Now, here, we actually get a few rupees. And wow, I got a red one. Um, over here is this, which just get, takes us to a ladder. Oh, what the hell? That's strange. What the balls? Let me down. I want to see what's in the other way. Okay, this is just another area. Actually, I think this is where we're supposed to go. Oh, hello. Be careful when going around here because there are those um, fire breathers. What you want to do is kill them off the same way we killed the first one off. Don't bother with the, um, rupees here. They're kind of pointless. Oh, God. Throw it! Did I just not take damage? Okay, I don't know what the hell just happened, but that was interesting. Alright, we got you to deal with. Let's just kill you off. And we got some rupees, nice. Alright, so the other path just leads us upstairs to where there are just a few enemies and a few treasures. But I really don't feel the need to go and show that off. Come up here. What is this? Rupees. Alright. Dressed in... Another human dressed in black, huh? Hmm. Alright, well, first things first. We need to open a path for ourselves. Alright, so now we can get back here easily. Alright, so, um... Huh? Well, that's strange. You, the goddess's chosen hero. Zelda is ahead. Hurry. That must be the one dressed in black. The Mogma. The, um, Mogma? I think that's it. I don't know. Anyway, um, take this bomb and drop it. Wait, that's not where we're supposed to drop it at all. Or, well, you can drop it there. This is a bombable wall there that's really hidden. There's no cracks or anything. Either way, we get a blue ruby here. Blue, that's red. I, apparently I'm colorblind as well as I can't read. 
few more digging spots. We get. Oh yeah, you can also get hearts from these digging spots as well. <gasps> oh, 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 wow. I don't know how I let that happen. Anyway, here's another bird statue. I think I'm actually going to end this episode off a little bit earlier than I would have expected. But because um, we still got a little bit left to go, and I want to save that for the next episode. So thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time.